Hi guys. So in this video, I shall be sharing my Salesforce virtual interview for internship. Uh, I had a virtual interview, which was uh, yesterday, 28th September. I cleared the online coding round, which was on 26th September. And two days after that, I was called for the virtual interview. I am from RV College of Engineering, third year student. I am from electrical department. And uh, 23 people were shortlisted. I was one among them. And the platform used to conduct the interview was the Google Meet. And also for the questions, hacker and code pair was used. This hacker and code pair is something like both you and interviewer can look at whatever you are typing. So it is a very good platform and mostly people use that only. So that was used. And uh, by the way, this is for internship. Whatever I'm telling right now. So first round, they asked me two questions. So the first problem given to me was it had a very long question, very lengthy question, but it was essentially a question which was to find a subsequence from a given array in which all uh, elements have a property that absolute difference of any two elements is either zero or one. Actually over here, it was, any two elements, but then he also added this thing. He actually changed the problem to any two ele any two adjacent elements. So this also was asked. Any two adjacent elements whose absolute difference is either zero or one. So it was basically a question on sorting and we had to sort the array and we had to find number of adjust like the maximum count of adjacent elements having difference of zero or one. So if I have to explain, I will take paint here. One second. So if the sequence was say two, three, seven, three, two, four, then I can take a subsequence like two, two, three, three, four, because any two adjacent elements have absolute difference of zero or one. So like this, I had to type the code and I had to show it to him. So it is a very simple, straightforward question. You can see here, you have to just do what you have to just take the original array and sort it and then keep a count variable and a max variable count variable will be counting how many consecutive numbers have this uh, property and keep storing the maximum value. So this was an easy question, but the problem was, uh, I was a little nervous and the question was very lengthy. I am telling it to you in a very direct manner, but the question was not so direct. It was a little like, um, it was not twisted also. It was just that maybe at the time I was uh, having a little pressure. So as I was nervous, I initially stumbled a little and uh, I could solve the problem. Second problem was on merge sort. I request everybody to learn merge sort and quick sort. If you're a beginner or learning to program sorting, you should know properly merge sort and quick sort. You should know it very well. And if time permits, even heap sort you learn, you have to tell the time and space complexity. And that's all was the first interview, the first round, sorry. So the first round ended like this. 
now the second round initially i was not actually selected i did not get any mail but then i got a mail saying they reevaluated my interview and allowed me to sit for round 2 this actually happened in the afternoon almost after everybody had finished round 2 whoever was allowed to write round 2 after all of them i got a chance i was actually eating and the interviewer was very kind to ask me what i was doing if i have if i was disturbed uh, he can conduct it later also so i told him can you give me 10 minutes i finished my lunch and then we sat at 350 and the round 2 was something like this it was on the same platform different interviewer first question was find maximum number of direct children of a node so it is in geeks for geeks over here i told him the approach merge sort is here i will attach all these links in the description this was the first question in round 2 okay and second question was find longest sublist whose sum is zero now again i am telling this to you directly but the question he asked was not so direct it had something else so you have to figure out that okay the general form of this question is going to be so and so even over here the tree question he gave me a class and then he told employees then he told manager something and all he told and try to you know confuse a little but then essentially it was a question on tree i understood that and i also understood that it uh, was something related to this the only difference over here is you don't have to include itself so that was the only difference and third question was graph now here i could not do it i think actually the time was only 40 minutes and graph question here uh, i could get only like 4 5 minutes to think about it i could not think about it properly what kind of question was asked i actually don't know but something similar to this question i could not even figure out how to even approach the problem that was the worst part something may be related to this i am not sure i am just giving link please don't uh, consider this only just i am giving some kind of idea that's all i don't have the i did not even have the time to recollect what and how to get to the solution so here is where i there, there was where i messed up i think and it was over so round 2 i could not clear and round 2 only 8 people were allowed i was one among them round 3 5 people could make it to round 3 and ultimately three people got the internship from rv college so that was salesforce virtual interview for internship and it was a good experience the interviewers were nice only they were trying to help me and question me but i would just say that whenever you are giving internship please give it a seriously because actually before companies come Uh, i mean companies came i was uh, not so serious actually maybe because of lockdown and all i had become lazy i just don't want any one of you to be lazy just be a little more serious and prepare nicely focus on data structure algorithm as you can see in the entire interview nothing else was asked only actually i thought oops dbms and all will be asked but nothing was asked please practice data structure algorithm first some of my friends got questions on dfs bfs linked list reversal linked list traversing and uh, sometimes actually some person got a question on operating system also he was from uh, computer science i am from tripoli i was scared whether they last course cs subjects but it was okay it was uh, overall this only i feel i should have prepared a little more better i'll prepare better now and next video i'll make a video on samsung what questions for their internship thanks samsung company came but i was not selected i could not even clear the coding round only i think eight people were uh, they are shortlisted today the message came so eight people are shortlisted and all of them are cs is only 
I think they are shortlisted based on CGPA. I could solve two questions out of three in Samsung online coding round. Third question was on very difficult concept. I will make a separate video on that. But I hope this video you could learn something. And if you have any internship or you will apply in the future, you can just see how you should prepare for it. Trees, graphs, linked list, array, all these things, data structure algorithm must. Any branch, any college, wherever you are, it's a must. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Please share and subscribe. Like it. Support me, guys. Bye.